us about the BOSS, the Boom Operator Simulation System. Well, the BOSS is an Air National Guard developed prototype in partnership with the uh, trainer development organization at Randolph Air Force Base and several industry partners. It's kind of unique and it's the first time we've done this. Uh, our effort is to provide our squadrons, our tanker squadrons, with a capability they've never had before. Now this is a prototype device. You're in the process of developing it now for deployment? That's correct. In about three months it'll be completely finished, we hope, and then we'll make a production decision for the traditional procedures that you go through to buy equipment for the uh, Air Force. Uh, but by using a prototype, we can redesign on the fly, so when we're finally finished with our design, we meet the requirements of each of our warfighters without having to uh, go back and, and redesign later. When it goes into production, it'll be ready. Sounds like an efficient way to uh, attack a uh, sticky problem. Well, when you are attempting to do it with limited funds and limited schedule, it, it's a very efficient way to do it. Well, let's talk about efficiencies here because the ability for somebody to be able to simulate this environment and the tasking and orientations necessary to be able to accomplish this versus the real thing uh, produces some pretty incredible savings. Well, it's a new world. We don't have the luxury of uh, launching an aircraft just to train our boom operators. So those days are gone. Uh, with fuel costs and uh, two wars going on, we just can't do that. So we have to find virtual solutions uh, to meet our training requirements to keep the same level of readiness. Uh, the prototype is a really cutting edge trainer. Uh, we were willing to take some technology risks that industry really can't do, but government can. So we were, really, we were willing to take the, the next step in technology and redesign if we had to, to, to achieve what we think is, is a unique capability. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Now, this is a portable solution, too, isn't it? Well, it's relocatable. It isn't really portable, but it's designed to have a very relatively small footprint. It's designed to be used in a squadron building that doesn't have a dedicated simulator facility, which can be quite large. It's designed to uh, be relatively low cost, yet high capability. Now, how will a boomer utilize this technology, right from the get-go or for recurrency? Well, it's not designed for a schoolhouse uh, environment. It's not designed for the young airman who's never flown in a tanker before. It's designed for a qualified boom operator for continuation and upgrade training, and as well as mission rehearsal. One of the more unique capabilities is the ability to connect this simulator with other simulators across the United States. So instead of just working with a constructive model, you're working with a live flyer in another simulator someplace else. You can do some things in the simulator that you simply can't do practically in the real world. With all the demands on our uh, uh, forces at the moment, you don't have the luxury of just scheduling for your convenience. So you could go several months, if not longer, without refueling a particular type of airplane. Yet you can do it in the simulator whenever you needed to do it. And you have to be able to log those recurrences before going out and doing it uh, for real. And with the cost of fuel and everything else that we're dealing with now, uh, that can impact some serious training uh, problems for, for a unit, especially when you consider that 70% of our uh, guardsmen are part-timers. They have other jobs. You just, they have to schedule their military training around their civilian occupations. So this allows us the flexibility we've never had before. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. Boom operation is not exactly what you would call an easy skill. It's something that takes some time to learn, and let's face it, the hazards here are significant, and in fact, these hazards can be simulated here as well, correct? Well, we can do emergency procedures. The uh, simulator can simulate 
damaging the receiver in 124 different ways. You can knock off antennas, scratch the paint, etc. You can do emergency procedures that you never can do in the real world, uh, and you can do them here. And you can actually achieve a higher state of training in the simulator that you can just going out and, and trying to practice in the aircraft. What was the genesis for all this? Where did this idea come from? The Air National Guard uh, flies a significant portion of the uh, total Air Force's uh, KC-135 tankers, yet we don't have the same resources at our bases for training that the active component has. So to meet that deficiency, we were able to leverage off an existing program, not as robust, but an existing program to train uh, in the schoolhouse brand new boom operators. We just took it to a higher level. And what kind of technologies were involved in the creation of this device? Using computational fluid dynamics and uh, aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic models and physics-based models, the degree of re realism is really unprecedented. Um, some of it is really transparent to the, to the boom operators. They just know that it feels right and, and that's all they care about. But the, the look and feel of the device is as real as we can make it. And it'll never really be finished. Uh, when we deliver a trainer, uh, we continue to improve it, upgrade, maintain the concurrency with the aircraft, as well as uh, occasional technology enhancements and refreshing the technology as, as often as we have to. Sir, we thank you very much for your time. An interesting concept. Thank you very much.